Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem Three Houses Blind. Uh, last time we chose the Black Eagle house to lead. Um, I'm intrigued by their their unit. I'm also intrigued by um, the fact that we observed that Edelgard is evaluating me um, just by looking at me. So it's telling me that she came from probably a pretty rough upbringing regarding um how do i put this like grades expectations what is acceptable it's something that i can really relate to um i had my own situations growing up where there was a very strong expectation that i was a straight a student and any time that i didn't get an a i felt devastated i felt really roughed up um i felt like i needed to succeed at everything that I touched or I would feel like a failure so it, it really it really means a lot to me getting the opportunity to see where she's coming from I might just be self-inserting myself in the situation may not be true at all but we'll find out the other two houses were kind of fun looking um, I would say that the house of the blue lion was my least favorite just because they're all very stuffy I mean, not all of them, but several of them are very stuffy. This looks like a fun group, so let's hop right in here. Um, there are new places to explore in the monastery. Thousand gold from the Church of Saros is funding for this month's activities. Oh, cool. Oh, we found a thing. Say, while you're here... I'd like to use this device I designed to determine whether the power of a crest resides within you. Won't hurt a bit. Promise. Ah. Uh. You don't know about crests? Well, allow me to tell you everything, absolutely everything about them. Is your calendar clear? This will take a while. Um, crap. It is clear today. Crests are a fascinating topic, but before one can dive deeply into said topic, one must first understand what crests are. They are power incarnate. They are said to have been bestowed upon humans by the goddess countless ages ago. They exist within the flesh and are passed down through bloodlines. Oh. Those who carry crests may excel at magic, display exceptional strength, or any number of boons. Each crest has its own power, the nature of which is beyond mortal understanding. For now. Okay. Can you believe I have a crest? I suspect as much, yes. But we won't know for sure unless I look into the matter. As I said, crests are passed down through the blood. However, just because someone carries a crest does not necessarily mean their descendants will inherit it as well. Interesting. So here's a question. If someone doesn't inherit it, is it kind of a recessive gene where it might pop up from their children later on? Only a scarce few descendants of a crest's bloodline end up inheriting that crest's power. But obviously there's got to be somebody, otherwise the crest would eventually just fizzle out. So does a crest choose somebody? Um, hmm. Perhaps one of your ancestors bore a crest, and you just happened to inherit it. Okay, now I think that he just answered what I said. Um, basically, your bloodline will always have a crest in your blood, but only some of them have a crest become a parent. That is how a crest usually presents itself, after all. Gotcha. Yes, of course. I'll get to the bottom of it straight away. Now then, please go ahead and hold out your arm over this device here. This will only sting a little. What is this? A pattern I've never seen before. Is it possible an as yet undiscovered crest has been detected? Maybe. To think. There are still crests out there that even I am unaware of. How thrilling! 
<clears throat> Pardon my unrestrained jubilation. I have much to consider. You may leave now. Huzzah. I have more research to do in regard to this crest. Yes, so very much more research. But for now, <laughs> your work here is done. Thank you, sir. Hmm. What could this line here be indicating? Perhaps it represents a lack of symmetry. Or perhaps... What in the world? Oh, I see. It may be connected to that, but to a greater degree than usual. So he told me to clear my calendar, but he saw a, a, a crest he was never seen before. So immediately he's like, all right, uh, go away. I'm going to leave myself with this forever. Meanwhile, Jackson's like, um, but I cleared my calendar. What do I do now? What is this? With each moon, professors of the Officers Academy receive a schedule for the month ahead. Okay. It notes the days on which events and missions will take place that month. Pay careful attention to your schedule, so that you may thoughtfully plan what you intend to do each month, and when. This is where the social aspect of it comes into handy. The calendar. Uh, seven days each week. You have one day off when you may choose an activity from the list. Your only option at first will be explore. Select the calendar with directional buttons to be the schedule. Seminar, battle, and rest. Spend the last day of the week resting. The motivation of your allies will increase. Oh. Hubert's birthday. Rescue at dawn. Else rivalry battle, and it's Ferdinand's birthday. Well, we need to win for Ferdinand. Hmm. Interesting. Big on mission, auxiliary, paralogue, and quest battles. Assign a lecturer to hold a seminar to increase units, skill experience, and motivation. And then explore. Gotcha. What statistics? Oh, we'll explore. Yes. So this is my room. I thought I heard a girl's voice, but I must have been imagining things. Speak with your house later. Very well then. Oh, hello, Seth. These are the students' quarters. To better help you supervise them, you also have a room here. Your room is here at the end. Commoner students also reside on the first floor, while the second is primarily for students of noble birth. I'm rolling my eyes really hard As right now. As a rule, now. we try to avoid discrimination based on social status here, but the nobility can be quite insistent when it comes to matters of propriety. We try to avoid discrimination based on social status, but because everybody else wants to discriminate, we're discriminating, so there we are. <laughs> Speaking of, it would be best for you to avoid improper conduct. I expect you to set a good example for the students. Yeah, I'll set a good example. Okay. Maybe I should ask. Maybe you should ask what? I'm not too keen on the professor of my class. I really hope to focus more on strategy. Hmm. Maybe I should talk to my professor about transferring to a different class. Maybe so. Yes. I heard about the upcoming mock battle. I want you to know, Professor, that I do not intend to lose. I hereby declare my intention to prevail at... Goodness, listen to me. <laughs> the thrill of competition has carried me away. I won't speak so formally of the class assignment in the future. <laughs> okay. Uh. Oh? What? What? Okay. Let me know when you are hungry. Okay. I will make you a quality meal, as thanks for your service to His Highness. I see. I have a request. Uh, 
Oh wow. Grow plants in the greenhouse, take deduce seeds, and ask the greenhouse keeper how to grow and harvest crops. Sure. Okay. Oh. oh, Professor! Have you adjusted to life at the Academy yet? Me? I'm still not used to it. I'm not one for all this studying and training. Kind of important, but sure. Hey, Teach. I hear there's going to be a mock battle between the houses. I'm not going to lie. I'm a bit concerned about facing an elite mercenary like you. Maybe take it easy on us. What do you say? I say no. <laughs> <clears throat> Dormitory. Hmm. Hello, Leonie. I'm Captain Gerald's first and best apprentice. I can beat anyone, Professor. Even you, if I have to. Okay. It may have been only for a short time, but I learned from the absolute best. Interesting. I wonder where you learned. Right, right. Giddy, 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 giddy. Can't go in unless there's somebody inside, it looks like. Ooh. I don't like to come out unless I really have to. Bernadetta, I am your boss! Wait, that didn't come out right. She won't like that. I'm the leader of your house. I hope you're okay with that, Professor. No, I'm not! I don't hope you're okay. Fine. We've been everywhere there. Let's talk to Sylvain. Well, there's Dorothea, Hilda, and Mercedes. Lady Rhea is quite the beauty, too. And I must admit, I've even checked out Professor Manuela once or twice. Congratulations. You know, Professor, I think I'm going to like it at the Officer's Academy. There are beautiful girls as far as the eye can see. <laughs> uh-huh. Professor, I've got a small favor to ask. If I have to eat in a filthy dining hall, I prefer to invite a cute girl to dine with me. Oh, I've missed move. Pretty great, huh? Try sharing a meal with others in the dining hall. You can even treat someone to their favorite meal. Interesting. Okay. Don't be nervous. It's fine, probably. Ooh, neat. Greenhouse and fishing pond. Hmm. Oh, kitty, 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 kitty. Yeah. Oh, fishing has not been unlocked yet. Well, that's rude, isn't it? He assists me by catching a delectable fish for the St. Kethlon celebration. And we've already got those two, so we need one more. And it's going to be at the uh, the dining the dining room, the dining house. Goddess, I pray to thee. Please protect us. <sighs> Poor Marianne. She's a little distracted. Oh, <gasps> a wolfie. Pet the wolfie. Pet the wolfie. Why can't I pet the wolfie? Oh my gosh, I can't pet the dog? Alright, well, I guess I'll have to get over that eventually. The Which Imperial Princess, the Crown Prince, and the heir to the Alliance's leading house. This is one exceptional year, that's for sure. Uh-huh. If you're a teacher here, you better watch your step. If anything were to happen to those kids, well, suffice to say that it could harm the reputation of the Church of Saros, which we've spent almost a millennium establishing. 
Okay then. Don't screw up, is what they tell you. The great tree moon is the best time of the year for naps. I could just forget all about my assignment. Um, you're talking to me. Yeah. <laughs> No. Let's see. Hey. I'm a little busy. Who are you? If you're looking for the greenhouse, it's right there. See it? Looks like a greenhouse. That's it. Hey, thanks for looking down on me. <sighs> anyway. These plants. What about these plants? Oh, did you come to look at the plants too? The greenhouse here is really incredible. There are so many rare flowers I'd never seen back home, and herbs I never even knew existed. Mm. My adoptive father is the real expert. He taught me everything I know about herbs, including how to tell them apart and how to make medicines. Oh, neat. You should try looking around the greenhouse sometime if the mood strikes you. Maybe something will catch your eye. Now he's with the blue lion house and he can open locks. Uh, no. Hang on. I save. I can save. Oop, okay, we're repeating. Uh, there we go. By gardening, you can harvest all kinds of crops. Flowers, for instance, make great gifts. Some people might not, uh, might even decorate their rooms with the flowers you give them. Use a plant command to decide which seeds to use. More seeds means a busy, bigger harvest. Ah. To pay the greenhouse keeper to look after your crop. Interesting. Okay. To select an amount using directional buttons, press the A button to hand the seeds to the greenhouse keeper. Uh, try planting them in the greenhouse. Yes. Cultivate. Okay. Hey, we did a thing. We can't do my anything thanks. else. Though. You have my gratitude. Yep. Okay, great. Nice. Whoa! Hi, all the things. Oh, I can't plan anymore now. I'll have to wait until next week. Bummer. Oh! So, keep an eye out for shinies. Gotcha. Okay, where to go now? There's a lot of people to talk to. Okay, let's see here. Oh, hello there. Hello there, Professor. Hi, Flame. Well, I call you that, but I am afraid I am not a student here myself. Then what are you doing here? brother would not be pleased if he heard you saying such things. The monastery is kind enough to provide a sanctuary for my brother and I. He's the only family I have. Uh-huh. Okay. Might you help me with a favor? There's a ceremony related to Saint Kethlan that requires rare fish. Yeah. Catch a fish for the ceremony and bring it to Flane. Okay. Great. Well then. I have a quest to work on now. I've already taken all those quests. We'll get there. Oh! Oh, the dining hall. We've never been here before. We get a nice camera pan.
Great. Okay, let's see here. Who else can we talk to? Spotted Felix. Yes. It's you. It is me. I'm busy. Do you want something? Yes. I was hoping to spar with you. I can't right now, but let's fight soon. I look forward to beating you. Excellent. We're just going to go around and say all the things that people want to hear. <laughs> ah, increasing compatibility is the best. Oh, I really need to eat. I can't hold out until the next meal. Poor Raphael. Why can't the dining hall stay open all the time? I need to keep eating if I want to get stronger. Fair, fair. Oh. There's an hourglass symbol. Does this mean it's going to take time? See the hourglass symbols? Oh, it does! I don't want to do that right now. We'll come back later. Greetings. Professor, I hope you know I am having great abilities for reading and writing. With sadness, I still have struggles with speaking. That's adorable. If my ways of speak... Uh, of speech are causing a burden I hope you will have forgiveness oh you're fine Petra you're doing fine let's go fishing and a fish doesn't cost time let's do it Begin fishing. First, select your bait. Wait until you see the silhouette of the fish you want to catch, and then press the A button to hook it. Don't wait too long, though. The fish will escape with the bait. Hmm. Okay, so overlapping circles. Got it. Okay. Okay. Great. Let's try this. Oh, well that was really easy. A Carassius. The small fish is common to all regions of Fodlon. It is somehow connected to St. Kethlon. Kethlion. Great, we did it. Let's go turn this in. Hello, you have helped me so much. I'd be most satisfied if you ever wish to fish again. Simply let the manager of the fishing pond know. Great! Um, catch a fish in ceremony, bring it to flame. Yep, which we already did. Nice. Boop. Now we have more bait. Can we fish again? I really want to fish again. Yes! Let's do it. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Straightforward enough. Let's keep going. Fishy time is a fishy. Whoops. Good. We still got it. That's the important thing. Airmid Gobi. Let's do it again. Trapped. Ooh, that took a little bit more. What is this? A Tutati's Loach? Okay, one more. Caledonian Gar. We use when you share a meal. Nice. I don't have enough fish to bait. 
are enough bait to fish. <laughs> I don't have enough fish to bait. Sorry guys, I need more fish so I can bait. Yes. Oh, I thought everybody in here. I have. Let's see. Who else is here? Ah, here we go. There's a person to talk to over here. Hello, gatekeeper. All right. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. By the by, have you ever regretted a decision and wished you could go back and undo it? It's too bad there's no lesson for how to turn back the old clock, huh? But I suppose a bad decision isn't worth all that fuss anyhow. You're right. I've never saved scum in my life. <laughs> Wait, is there... Oh, there is. There's a whole bunch of parts of this place that uh, are not opened up yet. Hmm. Indeed. Spotted a knight. Also, this guard. As part of our commitment to the goddess, the knights undertake various missions across all of Fodlan. Assisting with the education of young nobles is also a part of our sacred duty. Great. Hello, Professor. Uh, I have a teeny tiny question for you, if that's all right. Only if it's teeny tiny. You haven't seen a man with hair the same color as mine, a scowling face, and a generally gloomy demeanor, have you? Uh... Well, yes. It's a bit difficult to explain. Please just let me know if you do see him, okay? Okay. Is he your brother or somebody? Uh, okay. Yes. I hear a member of House Stressfeld, the ruling family of the Empire, has entered the Officers' Academy for the first time in ages. It is said that the Adrestian Empire's very founding was aided by none other than Saint Seros. Okay. That is why the crest of Seros is on the Imperial flag. Yeah. In recent years, a rift has developed between the Empire and the Church. Let us hope this will be a good opportunity for both parties to reforge their close relationship of years past. Hmm. Here's an idea. There are two types of crests. Major crests manifest their power most effectively, while minor crests are slightly weaker. It is said that the closer a person's blood relation is to various saints and heroes, the higher their chance of bearing a major crest. Of course, there are also examples of major crests manifesting in children whose parents bear no crest whatsoever. Yep. The exact nature of how and why crests are inherited is still a mystery. Interesting. Interesting. Hello. Hi, Professor. Have you gotten around to visiting the library yet? Nope. It's absolutely loaded with valuable information. I only wish I wasn't burdened with the necessity of sleep, so I could spend all my hours there. <laughs> In a manner, yes. But it's more that I want to learn as much as I possibly can. Hmm. Well, well, good for you, kiddo. Good for you. Oh, you again. What is wrong with you? What? I care nothing of friendship. If you have no business here, leave. Who are you? You're bizarre. Listen to this. Hello, Kaspar. Wow, Yuritsa sure seems strong. I kind of thought he was going to be the new professor assigned to our class. After that teacher ran away during our outdoor training, I figured Yuritsa was a natural replacement. I was surprised when you were suddenly appointed professor instead. I don't think I could hold my own against Yuritsa in battle. Well, I could probably take you, though. Thanks. <laughs> Not a chance. You really think so? With enough training, I'm sure I'll beat you someday. <laughs> Gaspar likes challenge. I'll keep that in mind. Dimitri and Claude are the leaders of the other two houses. 
Do not underestimate them. I do not intend to do so. When we take the field, it would be best not to engage the both of them at once. Hmm. Let me save in case this does something crazy like move the plot along. Some believe the dignity of the Empire rests on the results of the mock battle. That's an overstatement, of course. Still, we must do our best to prevail. You should yeah. take the time to learn each student's abilities. Perhaps some extra lessons and training sessions are in order? Sure. You look as if you have no idea what's going on here. I know my way around, so I'm happy to help you find your footing. Uh... The monastery has some exceptional facilities that everyone who lives at the Officers' Academy is welcome to make use of. For example, you can enjoy a meal with your students at the dining hall, or take part in some one-on-one -on -one sparring at the training grounds. I suggest visiting the various facilities whenever you have the time to spare. It's a great way to get to know the students, faculty, and various workers here. Great! Have you noticed the bulletin boards placed around the monastery? Yes, I've looked at them and done most of the quests already. Those contain requests people have posted, as well as helpful information from the market. From the market? If you prove yourself by helping people with their requests, certain facilities here will become available for your use. The bulletin board is updated frequently, so I suggest checking it at least once a month. Okay. I mean, yeah. Oh, I see. So you get four free time per month, and you, can, you need to do at least one of those exploring. You should take your time when speaking with everyone, but when it comes to using the facilities, well, you need to be more careful about that. If okay. you use them without planning ahead, your free time will be gone before you know it. You can explore the monastery as much as you like, but certain activities will only be available while you have activity points. When you're done exploring, press the L button to end your free time and proceed to the next week. Oh. A great deal is expected from professors of the Officers' Academy, so it's important to hone your skills. To put okay. it plainly, you'll need to keep expanding your knowledge of all disciplines, not just battle. Okay. Uh, professor level determines your maximum activity points. Raise it by reading books, taking part in activities, and interacting with students. Great. That's pretty straightforward. Ta-da! We did it today. So. Well, we have we didn't go in there. Crap. Professor. Listen to this. Head back around. Oh, you can run. I didn't know you could run. It's fantastic. Oh, these are the different uh, house rooms. Listen. Yeah. Let me tell you the provenance of our class name. Okay. The Eagle. That refers to the twin-headed eagle on the Adrestian Empire's coat of arms. And black is the traditional color of the Empire's armor. Hence, black eagles. Okay. That's pretty straightforward. Appreciate the information. Spotted Ingrid. Oh, hello. Before I came to the Officers' Academy, I attended a school of magic in the Kingdom Capital. That's where I met Annie. That's what I call Annette. Oh, I guess Lawrence was at the school of magic too. But Annie was always just so nice to me, even though I was older. She's my best friend in the world. Aww, that's sweet. Here's the story. The Blue Lion House derived its name from the honorary title of the first King of Fargus, Lug. The King of Lions wore brilliantly blue garments. His chivalric exploits are recorded in multiple legends. The library holds various historical accounts regarding him and the Blue Lions. My goodness, you're full of information. If you find time, you should read them. They're filled with insights. Sure. Maybe I should. Thanks. Hello. Hi, Professor. How are you doing? If you're not busy, would you like to join me on a little trip into town? If I'm cooped up in this dusty old monastery for too long, it drives me absolutely crazy. <laughs> Okie dokie then. Uh, there we go. Um, Hot, this is the Golden Deer House. 
you're in charge of a different class, right? Yeah. Too bad we won't see more of each other. I'm happy to learn from you if the opportunity comes up. Great. Our house is that of the Golden Deer. Do you know the significance of that name, Professor? Golden Deer are sacred creatures said to have protected Lester since time immemorial. All three of the houses have a meaning behind their name. You should feel free to ask around if that sort of knowledge interests you. Great. All right, let's see here. I've talked to everyone on the second floor, but or on the uh, on the first floor. But anybody on the second floor? Yeah, there's a bunch of people I haven't talked to. A way to wait how do I I feel silly how do I move that down do I just maybe it's just something you're gonna have to deal with there being lots of people and you'll have to just go find it I guess that's weird okay We'll go to the second floor, but we'll do that next time. Because unfortunately, I'm out of time, and I have to head to work. So. I appreciate you hanging out with me on this video. Um, hopefully, you are enjoying it. I know I am. I'm having a great time. Very glad that I took the opportunity to, uh, to play this game. It's great. I'm really enjoying it. So, until next time, hopefully you guys are having a great day. Take care, and I will catch you next time.